Right, I want you to go travel back in time now, OK? I want you to travel back in time, back to our caveman, cavewoman past. And uh, your long, 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 long relative, your great, 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 great grandma, who used to go out and hunt for all sorts of creatures in the river otter, and they'd see some fish there and think, I've got to get that fish. Okay? And this here represents the world-famous red plasticine fish at the bottom of, the, uh, of here. And you've got to try to kill that fish. I want you to get your ruler to the side here. I want you to aim right down the end of the ruler and spear that fish. Okay? I want you to do it now. Grab hold of it. Okay? You're not allowed to put the, 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 the ruler into the water. Let me, let me do this. It's just going to be something like, you go like this and you go, you fire it. Okay? Aim for it and then fire it in. Does that make sense? Yeah. Have a go. Off you go. <laughs> Missed. Right, who's next, please? Becky, your turn. There you go. There's the fish. Aim down it. As a sports college, you'd hope we'd be able to do this quite well, wouldn't you? You got it inside? Did you get it? No. Missed it. Because where you think it actually is, it isn't really there. I promise you, it isn't there. Because water is making the light do something bizarre. Okay? Yeah. Is it bending? It is bending it. As proof of the pudding, what we need to do is if we put a whole lot of rulers here at an angle like this, there's nothing, there's not, nothing special about these rulers, but if I put them in like that, and then you guys do the same there, what do you notice about the rulers? They're all missing the fish. Can, can you see that the rulers actually bent? <laughs> Are the rulers really bending? No. They're not bending, but the water is doing something strange to it. Okay? When, when dealing with children who've got specific problems in communication, we always have to be pushing the children slightly beyond their comfort zone to develop them and to harden them to this. I find that it works very, very well to do small group work individually, asking closed questions on occasions, and sometimes opening the questions to get more confident. And once those children have got the right answer, it is actually quite nice then to invite them into the general conversation, because you know that child has said something. There was a, a very interesting question at one point, when a student was asking what damage did UV do to the skin, and I gave him an answer, but then I drew him into the whole class conversation as well. So it is a question of, during those discussion sessions, visiting all the kids, picking out misunderstandings and things that are going to help the kid, and then draw those students into the wider conversation. Uh, here's something else I can show you that re works really, really well. I want you this time to stand so that the red plasticine is just out of you. OK? It's just out of you? See if you can work this out then as well. See the whole thing? That yeah. is cool. Right, head back to your tables, please, folks.